there! In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up your Webflow project so that it's ready to integrate with Outseta. I'm using the Fitnesso template here for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, this is one of the free templates available from the Webflow template library. Uh, this is one that I've already modified, but if I click over, this is what the original looks like. It has about free workouts. It's an e-commerce template. And then the big call to action is to book a call. And as you can see, I haven't changed much at all apart from uh, mainly that top navigation of the template here. So we've added a few different links and different call to action at the top uh, to be able to create our protected content using Outseta. The key when starting your Webflow project is to think of the user experience as they're going to be navigating your site. So what I've done is just edited a couple of the links and CMS collections of this template to create uh, members only sections for recipes and workouts. So let's look at what this looks like in Webflow. If we look at the pages of our Webflow project, you'll see that I have a page for workouts and a page for recipes. I also have a CMS collection uh, for each of those. So workouts here and recipes each just have a few items in there. Uh, the workout items came with the template and recipes was uh, actually modified from the blog CMS uh, that I edited here to include uh, recipes instead using the template. So the experience that we want a user to have is that they will be able to log in using a login pop-up that we'll be installing in another video and then be taken to either the workouts or recipes page depending on their account plan. So if we go back to the modifications here, none of this has been protected yet. So what we're looking for is we'll add in a pop up here for login as well as sign up so that users will be able to uh, log in or sign up right from this page. Uh, and then they'll be navigated to either workouts or recipes depending on their plan. But if a user doesn't have a plan at all, this workouts page, uh, essentially this landing page for workouts will still be accessible. But what we want to do is protect each of the individual workouts so that you'll need a user account to be able to uh, actually access uh, each of these workouts. So if we click on this 40 minute workout here, we'll see that this is where we want Sandra's content to be protected. So start workout uh, takes you down to the actual exercises and an embedded video. And so this is what we want to uh, protect with our Outseta account. Similarly, if we head over to recipes, uh, this landing page here will be accessible whether or not you have an account, but then what we want to do is protect the individual recipes. So uh, this great looking low carb pizza here will want to protect as part of her member only content so that her clients are uh, able to access these recipes um, from their account once they have signed up. So this is the template that we'll be working with and the navigation functionality and sign up functionality we will be linking to Outseta in another video.